Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. This episode is being brought to you as a part of the many things that Pointless creates. For our returning listeners, thank you so much for coming back. And if this is your first episode, welcome, get comfortable, and please keep an open mind. Hey, (laughs) y'all. It's like, (laughs) this sounds like one of the damn YouTube uh, episodes with the unboxes I'm holding. Hey, y'all. But anyways, welcome back. Uh, (laughs) um, So... I just want to start this. Actually, no, we got to start off with something good. Something good that happened today. What is your something good? What is my something good? Um, Let's see. Today is Tuesday. First of all, I want to start by saying yes. Actually, no, we're going to talk about the good things first. Um, oh, I had a really good talk with my mama earlier. Before I recorded this, I had a really great talk with my mom. We were cracking up. She low-key called me an alcoholic because I told her I was having um, tequila. Because it's Tuesday, like, hello. And I had tacos, so that's also good. Um, but, yeah, that was my something good. I had a really funny conversation with my mom. Like, if you know my mom, like, you will know where I get the jokes from. Not even. Both my parents, actually. Both of them are hilarious people. So, yeah, my brother and I were hilarious. Um, I honestly, though, it wasn't until lately that I started accepting that people think I'm funny. <laughs> funny. But um, I don't I don't try to be funny. I just, I just, I guess I just say things in a manner that people find humorous. I'd be dead serious though. So I don't know. Want to take my feed yet? Whatever. But that was my something good. Um, I talk to my mom daily though. It's just like on the phone. Like we just had like a really long conversation and we were just cracking up. Um, I'm not even going to tell you all my business. That was just a really funny conversation. I told her that her grandchild laid eggs and it was hilarious to me that she was like, wait. So she's asexual, and I was like, oh my gosh, you know, A for effort, (laughs) A for effort. Um, And then (laughs) at one point, she was like, oh yeah, so how did he, I mean she, and I was like, not you trying to make an effort not to misgender your grandchild, like, okay, mom, let's talk about growth, like, (laughs) who would have thunk it? But (laughs) that, that conversation tickled the hell out of me. Um, what else? What else? What else? I think, yeah, that's enough. That was my something good. Um, oh, I wanted to talk about how yesterday was like a shit show for me. Um, as far as work went, it was just a lot going on. And oh, whoa. Okay, this is weird. As I'm sitting here, I feel like my period's finally about to start. Yes, okay. Am I the only person? speaking to the people that have periods or who menstruate, whatever you prefer to call it. um, Do you feel when your cycle is actually starting? Like I can literally go to the bathroom right now and I will literally see nothing, but I feel like the movement, like I feel, I literally feel it. Okay. This is going to be graphic. (laughs) I literally feel, feel the shit tearing off like it doesn't hurt like I know a lot of people get like really bad cramps I'm going to knock on wood because mine are not excruciating I do get them once in a while um I think it's because sidebar because I'm ADD or whatever it is um not to be trying to say I'm wearing too much green we're gonna put this orange in here because I'm not choosing a side I don't participate in political conversations with people. I took law for four years of high school. I know better than to discuss certain topics with people. I don't want y'all to get the wrong idea. So I'm not wearing this green shirt as any kind of, I mean, granted it's not the right shade of green, but I'm not trying to vouch for or against any political party, whoever won won, and that's all I have to say about that. That's also what happened yesterday, um, Monday. Um, But you know, I realized while looking at myself that we're wearing green. We don't, actually, no, I I wore green on the episode before. Don't want any odd coincidences. I do have my orange water bottle here, though, just in case, you know, anyone has anything to say about, oh, yeah, labor right. No, I am not labor right. I am not national part. Um, (laughs) Nope, just Pointless Talks podcast. What was I talking about before I got distracted? Oh, wow, that was crazy. 
Yeah, I completely lost that. Wow. We were talking about my mom, talking about a turtle, talking about work, all in a matter of six minutes. Has it been six minutes or is that four minutes? Oh, wow. Guys, make sure to eat up on the, um, on the things and drink up on the something them and make sure to take care of yourself. You hear me? Wow, my memory just completely went blank. Oh, we're talking about my menstrual cycle. Yes. So, I was saying because I drink a lot of water. Yeah, you know, I heard that that actually helps with like, you know, your cycle and things of that nature. Also, the foods you eat, right, tay, tay, whatever, whatever. Um, I have been seeing on Twitter that quite a few people have had their cycle twice in February. Um, I would like to say one of y'all took mine because we are currently two weeks plus late, which is not a thing for me. If you are someone that have been in my business for quite some time, you know that my period comes like clockwork every month within one to three days of when it's supposed to. Like we are where we need to be, when we need to be, how we need to be. And if it weren't for the fact that I'm not any kind of sexually active, I might be a little bit worried, you know? I'm also not overtly stressed about anything. I try my best not to stress. So, I don't know which part of something there. Like, I don't know. Um, I read somewhere that it could be the moon, you know? There was a full moon this, was it this past weekend? Yeah, this past weekend there was a full moon. Um, so maybe it is finally coming. Um, maybe I am switching back to my full moon cycle because it was like I said it comes one to three days off here and there so for the most like as far as I can remember my period has always come around the time of the full moon um I'm not gonna say what I want to say right now (laughs) because some of y'all gonna be like why um but I realized that over time like the past year it has shifted to like with the new moon um and that's where it was for the past few months So I'm thinking maybe it's like, we're going to change courses and go back to the full moon. I don't know. Whatever. This episode is not intended to be discussing my menstrual cycle. So let's move on. Um, I did not talk about this last week because I completely forgot. There's, was it, I think two things maybe. Um, Not sure if y'all watched Cartel's Appeal um, live stream in the UK. That was, that was interesting. I feel like that man got that docket the morning of and did a quick proofread, um, read over, skim, whatever, and was like, yeah, we're ready. Let's go to court. Listening to him try to read some of that stuff was hilarious. So (laughs) to say the least, um, apparently the estimated release date is April. I have so many mixed feelings because, of course, a free world boss, but at the same time, I don't feel like they would let him out because of the sheer amount of impact he has on the world. I mean, a world boss, them call him, like, it, hello? Um, like, when he comes out, everybody's going to want to see him in concert. But then there's health issues and re te I personally feel like the man is going to get on stage. The rhythm is going to drop. He's not going to have to say a word. And everybody's going to be singing out his music. He's literally just going to have to stand there. But at the same time, I feel like they're making an example of him. So I... <sighs> I don't, I'm going to leave it there. You know, it can go either way. They had, I think they said something about, they were talking about the details of the case. And I feel like, I feel like in an effort to make an example of him, they ended up fucking themselves in a way with how they tampered with the evidence and how the case and like, I just feel like there were so many things that they could have just left the fuck alone that they didn't because they wanted so badly to get him. So it's like, I mean, you got him now, but like we're looking at appeals and two plus two not mats. So like, what's gonna happen, you know? Um, Also, I did not speak on (sighs) that Lifetime original on TikTok. (laughs) Is Is she getting a show about this? I don't know, but the internet has been in a complete frenzy surrounding this, was it Risa Tisa, whatever the girl named on TikTok, that 55-part story about the man who did lie about Ray Tay Tay XYZ. And, okay, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I watched the first video, the first 10 minutes, and even that was like a bit much for me because <sighs> great marketing tactic, great. 
because at the end of the day, TikTok is where you're going to get all your views. This is where you're going to get your streaming. You're going to get your money. You're going to get all of that. <sighs> With that being said, I personally would have preferred if it was all on YouTube and you just made like a mini movie, like a vlog on YouTube, as opposed to putting it on TikTok and having to go to a different story and run through it that way. Personally, personally, I don't know if I would have watched the whole thing on YouTube because that that's giving like 10 minutes times 55. That's wait, that might to make sense. That's a lot of minutes. Y'all really sat down and watched that whole thing for nah. I'm tripping. I'm not tripping. Are they all 10 minutes long? I hope they're not all 10 minutes long. If they're all 10 minutes long, y'all are. Minister Fast enough? My fast bad, but Minister Fast. And I've been getting like snippets and um, what's it called? Like summaries. And it it's all pretty much comes down to the same shit. Like <sighs> she said though in the first video that she was desperate. So that's the only reason why I'm not sitting here like, girl, what? Because she said she was desperate. She said she looked over things, she said, you know, whatever. So I'm I'm not even gonna wow her about that. Like, girl, you already know where you effed up at, like you grown, whatever. Get your money how you get your money. A thing that I thought of, though, is like, what relationship of mine would be my 55-part story? And who, child. <sighs> I have one story in particular. <laughs> one relationship in particular that comes to... Actually, no. <gasps> I just thought about another one. I have two relationships in particular that would be perfect for a 55 part story. Two, one and a half. Oh, I'm not gonna give the other one too much credit on that because that wasn't that wasn't as much of a roller coaster ride as the other one because one of them, girl, when Matella say Yamed, real yummy, sha real man clone, real idiot, real like girl, nobody never love you when I grow up. Like certain okay. Let me give myself some grace. Let me stop. I was very depressed during this period of time. So, yeah. But, listen. Me not still again telling them my embarrassing life story, you know, about, oh, man, take me for you, that time, yell it. No. Like, a 55-part story about that? No, man. My parents would disown me. Like, cuss me out and then disown me. So, yeah, no. But I definitely... What would be your 55-part story? Hmm. 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 I'm curious to know. <laughs> we can swap stories off the YouTube video, off the podcast. Um, but, yeah, I also saw, oh, my gosh. Okay, so last week I was hearing about Lost in Time Festival in Jamaica because I follow people that were involved with the festival, like, you know, photographers, people who are doing, like, sound stuff, like, whatever, and literally last week is when I started hearing about it. Now, it is reggae month, um, so it makes sense that it was held this month, but I don't feel like there was a lot of promotion for it I mean obviously there was because there were a lot of people that like I feel like half of my Twitter timeline that live in Jamaica was at Lost in Time Festival um so obviously it was but like it was marketed but I literally did not start hearing about it till like literally the week of so like prior to that I didn't hear nothing about this place didn't hear nothing about it. like I saw the flyer online last week I saw people that talking about it last week and they're talking about what am I wearing around Ray Tay Tay um, I think it's crazy that they shut it down at midnight on the dot, but you know, we have opinions and we're going to just say that that was wild because I'm pretty sure there are many other events that run way later than that in that area, etc. But you know, government, <gasps> wait, we already talked about that color stuff. Okay. Yes. We talked about that. Um, with that, Russian was on stage, and there was this young lady that looked to be very, 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 very deep under the influence. And I really want people to have better friends. Um, whether drunk or high or whatever it is, if 
And then the thing about it is people are online clowning her, right? But then somebody was like, oh, that's y'all talking crap about this girl. She was drunk and her friends pushed her up there. I want you to know my friends, the people I call friends, would never push me up on stage. First of all, push me up on stage to begin with. And two, push me up on stage while I was drunk. Like, what? Somebody couldn't just, and shout out to Roshan for like how he handled the situation. He did not like act weird or like call security on her. He didn't make it like awkward. He was just like, yo, like what? Okay, whatever. Um, And just like went with it, which I mean, shout out to him for that. But her friends though, like girl, trade them in. Trade them in for a new model because <laughs> those are not your, those are not your friends. Do not ever call them friends ever again. And if they're family, child, see you at the next family function. We don't need to hang out outside of that because that was just not okay. And when I say see you, I mean see you on a seal because that like what you know many people seen that and thankfully you couldn't really see her face. So like unless you knew her or whatever, you might not even or were at the festival you probably don't know who it is but even still like that's but I like embarrassment you know I do not like embarrassment so like me thinking of like myself in those shoes I would cringe I will cringe myself <laughs> under the earth watching that sober the next day like I just uh that's just me but Russian okay <laughs> first of all that YouTube video that little preview the um trailer for um the new rhythm or whatever genius but no Santa the genius but genius like that was I loved it I loved it I loved it I loved it it was hilarious um I don't like that people keep forgetting that Nige boy look at me Nige boy I don't like that y'all keep trying to like over explain the situation because that's the whole point of him saying like I'm pretty sure Russian said yo I'm gonna make it say yeah I don't see everything already because of the fact that like he's been saying that and everybody has been like what what did you see what are you talking about like that was the whole point and y'all are like what did he keep talking about some i see i see i see like bro i said this before saying you're blind does not mean you are like visually like unable to see at all like it just means you're visually impaired you're legally blind. like whatever don't talk about it but anyways i thought it was hilarious it was cute as hell um Moyan, Jesus Christ, girl, it chat bad. But um, that whole thing, I I love the whole thing. I love the whole thing. Um, Swiss gets him like a, you know, his moment. That was, that, was that supposed to be Spanish? <laughs> I love the video. I think I watched it a few times. Um, I, I liked it. I, I like creative stuff like that. I really like that video. Um, I can't wait to hear the songs that come from this. See what's keeping um yeah 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 so that's all I have on the docket I do have one thing else here I talked about a vendor market that I did last week and I my, my wheels have been turning I'm not telling y'all no plans in in like full detail because you know so you start talking about things and people start bad mind you then you know whatever but I am thinking about the direction of like me and my crafts because of something that happened at the vendor market. It wasn't even something that happened for the first time ever. It was just kind of like the icing on the cake for me because the way that um, the feedback I get on my crafts from other people who use resin is always like this like awe and amazement. And I'm just like, not that I downplay myself, but I, I guess the thing is I hold myself to a certain standard so that I, I don't put out shit right so no offense to anyone I do get the idea of like putting out the work and working on it until you get better but when it comes to certain things I don't feel like it makes sense for me myself me personally to put out things that I, I I'm not proud of you know that I'm not okay with saying hey I did this look at this purchase this support this you know um so when people tell me, oh, my God, this looks so good, and they're talking about the quality, not necessarily the creativity, it kind of makes me kind of like, damn, dog, like, niggas really not putting in the work like you. like, <laughs> And I'm out here, like, dropping gems and giving advice and things like that. And it's so funny because I did a vendor market once a couple years ago. Not a couple. Was it a couple years? 
it wasn't last year, it was the year before. Yeah. And the person that was with me was like, why are you telling people that? And I'm just like, because it doesn't hurt to be nice. Like, you know, and I'm realizing that, like, I definitely did do the work before I started marketing it to people, before I started, like, putting things up for sale. Because I literally started this in the pandemic. Like, during the pandemic, I wasn't recording. I was living alone. And I was like, podcast is on hold. I want to do some things that are going to be creative, that's going to be, you know, satisfying for me. And um, my friend Remy was like, hey, some, actually, he was actually talking about doing it himself. And I was like, what's this? And I looked into it and I was like, oh, my gosh, I like this. I bought like a very small portion of, you know, the chemicals or whatever. And like I played around with it. My first few stuff was like, girl, what is that? Um, but after I realized like, hey, I don't like that. I don't like this. I like worked on it and like I did some shit and the stuff that doesn't work or didn't work. Some I still have them to this day because I'm a hoarder. But um, you know, kind of like to look at like y'all, how far we all come from and like look on the first something you make to where we don't know. Like you know, so um, it was just a random thought that I had. Um, there is a yard twelve ninety two four twenty party that is coming up. Hello, hi. Yeah, we have to end that so. I I say this like I smoke. Y'all know I don't smoke, right? Like y'all know that I don't smoke. Okay, good. I I just you know it's an outdoor event. It's a rooftop event, you know. So it should be real cute. It should be real cute around them time. They should have nice and warm up little bit so you can put on your cute little clothes and step out and all your things and your hey, you know what I say, Ray. Er, uh, <laughs> But yeah, that's all I got. Um, make sure you check out everything pointless. You know, we are what episode ninety six. Listen, I we got what ninety seven, ninety eight, ninety nine, and then we had a hundred. I'm not doing all this promo at the end of the episodes after a hundred. I'm gonna tell us to reach and switch. When we reach hundred, yo, free paper bun. If we don't know which part we're fine with, like by then, yo, I mean. You'll find it eventually. If it's meant for you to find it, it's meant for you to find it. Like we say on every episode, whether you got here on purpose or by fate, like if it's meant for you to find pointless talks, you will find pointless talks and we will kiki and whatever when the time comes. Okay. But yeah, make sure you subscribe on your favorite streaming platform, YouTube included. I did not say it in the beginning or throughout. However, if you made it this far and you never realized that we are recording video, just I'm saying if I want to look fun it because I definitely called out some things that indicated that we are doing video. I'm not cuss nobody. I'm just saying. Um, I feel like there's something else I'm supposed to be talking about. I can't remember the way now. Are y'all on Twitter? Y'all be in spaces? QTNA. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. I can't think of anything else. Um, I still want to talk to y'all about y'all Jamaican relationships. It's not a joke. I'll be dead serious. I have gotten some inquiries, but I do want some more because I want to be like, you know, a little panel type discussion. I don't want us to just be dating one, uh, dating, whoa. <laughs> I don't want us to be bashing one person's ex <laughs> or whatever. Listen, hold on there. This Savage Fenty got, <laughs> hey, hoo-hoo. Listen, this little sports bra, girls. I just realized I'm sitting down. <laughs> Woo. Um, let me get on bed. What time now? It is, Jesus Christ, 11 40 at night time. No, man. I'm going bad. But yes, just like everything else, Pointless Talks, Pointless Creates, whether you got here on purpose or by fate, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Pointless Talks. Bye. <laughs>